It's a thrill for me to meet a real live fairy princess. And may I say that in all my years in Hollywood, I've never seen such perfect casting. Thank you. But how many fairy tale princesses fall in their you know what's in the middle of a routine? <laughs> oh, well, I figured you were just under a spell. <laughs> Is that what they call a bit of the blarney? Well, uh, I prefer to call it a bit of the Gaelic schmaltz. By the way, if during the evening there's anything I can do to help you, please call on. Do you mean that? Well, just try me. Okay. I've heard that on a television show like this, the audience likes to see people doing things they don't ordinarily do. Well, that's very true. The element of surprise is very important in this kind of a show. Now, for example, if you were to sing on television for the first time, that would be a real surprise. That would be a shock. I don't sing. Don't be silly. Singing's natural. Everybody sings. Not for me, it isn't. But when I was talking about surprises, I was thinking how great it would be for the audience to see you skate. Me skate? I have enough troubles of standing on these things. Well, skating's the most natural thing in the world. If God had meant for man to skate, he'd have given him blades. You don't have to do anything elaborate. Maybe just a couple of axles, a flying camel or two. Perhaps a Lutz or a Sitzpin? And you don't have to sing anything too difficult. Just an aria from La Boheme or the bell song from Black Me, huh? Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. And I'll make you a better one. You handle the skating. And you handle the singing. I'm willing to shake on that. It's a deal. I'm thinking I got the better of the deal. <laughs> Dorothy, Dorothy, one thing I know is true. I'm not Warathy sharing the ice with you. I can't do a Lutz or Camel, so how come I'm here with Hamel? But I'll do my best, and you do the rest, on a skating rink built for two. That's the kind of work I like. Surprisingly well. The rate I'm going, I'll be finished in about a month. Oh, that's great, that's great. What chapter are you working on now? Souffles? <laughs> Souffles! Hey, that means you'll finish a section on flaming desserts. Last week, after the Bruins game. Wonderful. Hey, I don't want to tell you how to write a cookbook, but I've got a great recipe for a chocolate souffle de la riche that I think is rather special. You were saying? You were saying, I've got a souffle recipe that might interest you. Oh, well, that's, that's very thoughtful of you, really, but the souffle chapter is just about finished, and my recipe for chocolate souffle parisienne is already in there. 
You didn't put that title recipe in there, did you? <laughs> what do you mean, hired old recipe? I'll tell you what I mean. Everybody in the league has had it with your souffle. It's a joke in the locker rooms. <laughs> if that is all your guys have to talk about in the locker room, it is little wonder that your team is in last place. <laughs> we are in last place because of the way we play hockey, not because of our cooking. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd be leading the league. <laughs> Next time we have a face-off, I'll knock your face off! <laughs> you were saying. <laughs> I was saying. I was saying. But the whole secret of a good souffle is to fold the combined ingredients into the egg whites while they are still fluffy. Any <laughs> dummy knows that. <laughs> Not any dummy. You're the only dummy I ever met. Who knew that? And the moron knows you spoon it. And I suppose you're going to tell me that you greased the bowl with margarine before baking. And I suppose you used butter, right? Of course I used butter. Margarine. Butter. Margarine. Butter. Margarine. Butter. Margarine. All right. Margarine. Butter. <laughs> At least you are not going to argue with me about oven temperature. Of course not. The oven should be preheated to 350 degrees. We have no argument on that. I can't believe my ears. You did say 350 degrees? That's exactly what I said. Three, like your IQ. Five, like the number of teeth you got left in your mouth. And oh, like oh, how dumb can anybody get? At 350, the souffle will be as flat as your head. It has to be at least 375 degrees. Ask the galloping gourmet. The galloping gourmet is not here. <laughs> Observer. Hey, Bobby! Bobby! Hey, Bob! What degree heat should the oven be for a chocolate souffle? That's an easy one. 375 degrees, of course. Watch this! 375! You must be kidding! He cannot go lower than 350, never! My own teammate! I still say 375! You 350! 't sound like no friendly discussion to me it was though yeah we were we were just talking about two flames what about two flames was nothing we'd better get back to the game I'll decide that now what about two flames well we were just discussing the perfect oven temperature for a chocolate souffle. Oh, you were, were you? Yeah, I, I, I told you it was silly. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> That's serious business. Do you realize you could ruin a perfectly good souffle unless you set your oven at 400 degrees? 400 degrees? Hey, you didn't say The athlete has his locker room, the actor his dressing room. I bet you've spent as many hours back here as you did in front of the camera. Oh, maybe, maybe even more. You see, every role an actor plays has a special challenge, and very often the makeup gives one the key to the character. For instance, uh, well, here. I played the Three Musketeers, the mustache. It said suave, daring, dashing, romantic. The mustache said all that? <laughs> well, um, I guess you had to be there. <laughs> oh. Singing in the rain, I had great props like these to help me. Hi, thank you, madame. Hi, thank you. Gee, I wish I could have been around when those wonderful movies were being made. Now, you be careful, because when a princess makes a wish, there's a very good chance that it might be granted. Either that, or she turns into a frog. I think I'll take my chances. Are you sure? I'm sure. Well, in that case, welcome to Hollywood. Be a clown, be a clown All the world loves a clown Show them tricks, tell them jokes And you'll only stop with pop folks Dress in huge baggy pants And you'll ride the road to road A butcher or a baker, ladies, never embrace 
A barber for a bow would be a social disgrace. They all will come to call if you could fall on your face. Be a clown, be a clown, be a clown. Be a clown, be a clown. 